All right, so for this question, you're asked to compare the two parabolas without graphing them. And so we have to look at the equations and get some idea of what these are going to look like. And the first thing you should note as far as similarities go is that they both have x squared and a coefficient that's not zero for that x squared term, which means that these are going to be parabolas. So the first similarity is that both are parabolas. The other is that since they don't have, um, if you remember, if you've got in the bracket x minus 1 squared, okay, because you have an h that's not 0, that means that this would shift left to right. Here, we don't have that. So in, in essence, h is 0. So both of these are going to have a vertex that's on the y-axis. So in other words, both of these parabolas are going to cross are going to be on the y-axis. So those are the first two similarities. Now as far as differences go, the first thing you should uh, look at is we the um, a here is one half and it's positive one half and here a is negative two and this is going to be result in two differences. The first is that a here is positive. And so since it's positive, this parabola is going to open upwards. So it's going to look something like this. And here, a is negative. So that means that the parabola is going to open downwards. So it's going to look something like that. Now, another uh, difference here is a is 1 half. And I'm ignoring the, the uh, sign right now. And here, the a is 2, or it's negative 2. So this means that this parabola is going to be flatter or vertically cons um, compressed. Whereas this one, since a is a larger value, it's going to be stretched out or vertically, um, sorry, vertically stretched. Um, so that's going to be, it's going to appear different that way. Uh, the other difference is when you look at the k here, k is positive 1 in the first one, k is negative 1 in the second one. That means that this um, y-intercept is going to be at, this problem is going to shift up, so the intercept is going to be, or the vertex, I should say, is going to be at 0, 1, and this one is going to be at 0, negative one. 